Sometimes he felt bliss. When the mind was filled with thoughts and memories, only illness could take away. Now this once healthy figure lurks in the shadows of society's failures and forgotten sorrows. A man now mocked by children in chorus who wanders our streets helpless every day. You see him walk down the street in rags and bare feet, ignorant of the cold and heat, but laugh not at the mentally ill man. He'd been laughed at before because of the illness he bore, given only to sleep on the floor, abandoned by his own plan. A few care about whether he drinks or eats, or whether he starves on the streets, in his tortured frame illness meets, hunger without a helping hand. Every day continues his plight, morn, noon, and night, and I wonder where he sleeps tonight, when darkness envelops the land. Oh, what a darkness in which to abide, lost in this world with no guide, with no brother, no sister beside, no friend, no family. As he now sits on the streets to rest watching, backing, the people marching, past him nightfall fast approaching, I wonder when will end this apathy. On the streets he now sleeps, inns among the bushes and heaps of refuse oblivion to that which creeps and crawls in the night unseen. When it rains on him it rains, bitter cold nights solidify his pains, and yet when he cries out in anguish and complaints, no one seems to hear though he is keen. And at morn when he wakes, in this community that forsakes him in his plight of aches, he takes to wandering lost again. Whenever we cease to care and cease to care, whenever we cease to empathize and cease to care, and the burdens of our responsibilities refuse to bear, that is when we impair our society. When we stand by and do nothing to heal, the wounds of our societies and seal our hearts to the pains that others feel, that's when we lose our humanity. We laugh not at the mentally ill man who is sick, frail, and one, but do for him what you can to help ease his agony. We must never abandon our mentally ill brothers, sisters, fathers, and mothers, for doing so only hinders humanity's prosperity. That's the end.